before we talk about tests that are commonly used to help diagnose lumbar disc injury, let's review what sensitivity and specificity mean. Uh, for sensitivity, a good analogy is an airport metal detector, which is very highly sensitive to metal, but not very specific to gun. Specificity measures the proportion of negatives that are correctly identified. Because that metal detector is not very specific, we need to do more specific tests to determine whether or not there is actually a gun in that bag at the airport. Now let's look at how that compares with some of the common tests done for disc injury. The seated slump test is a very sensitive test for lumbar disc injury. To perform the test, the patient is seated with the leg outstretched and the hands behind the back while the examiner makes sure that the knee is straight. He puts a little bit of pressure on the ankle for dorsiflexion and has the patient lean forward with their chin out until they feel tension in the leg. When they feel tension in the leg, then they only drop the chin, controlling the variables for neural tension. The test is considered positive if that neck flexion increases the pain or tension in the leg. Make sure that the head is up, the chin is up, prior to assessing with neck flexion. A more specific test for actual involvement of the nerve root uh, due to that disc injury identified in the slump test is the straight leg raise or SLR. To perform the test, a passively raised leg with a straight knee is raised until there is tension and then dorsiflexion is applied at the ankle by the examiner. It's considered positive if the dorsiflexion of the ankle causes greater pain or tension in the leg. Again, see the passively raised leg with the straight knee followed by the passively flexed ankle. To determine what treatments to use, we have the McKenzie prone press up. If repetitions cause a decrease in pain in the back, buttock, or leg, and especially if the centralization phenomena occurs, then this predicts a high success rate if repetition of this therapy is continued.